Hi, Tom Bush here, uh, Front Range Birding Company, and we're having our grand reopening today. It was great to open and uh, be back open and uh, running with the public. I know this doesn't look like a bird store, but man, we're right out here in the wild. six weeks ago right after you opened mm -hmm. and I came out here on the patio and I said wow we <laughs> should ban birds here there's this great sort of marshy area um, that's full of red-winged blackbirds um, lots of feeders up and I thought boy this would be just a great place to bur to band and Tom picked right up on it and said let's do it and let's do it as a promo for the Chatfield banding this spring Probably not our most common feeder bird. Yeah, I think you're right. We're going to measure its wing and its tail. Uh, 78. Uh, 62. The thing that I think is really interesting about house finches is when I see a house finch in my yard, it looks really small. But when you look at it here compared to the Lincoln Sparrow and the Song Sparrow, which are, which are really pretty good sized birds, um, it's a pretty big bird. Whoa. I'm on the mail. Oh, oh, here is another. No, this is a house finch. Oh, oh. But a minute ago we saw the male. No, yeah, this is definitely a male. species we had before but this one's this one's a true male. It's a non-migratory bird. Um, if you see house finches at your feeder in the summertime and you see them in the wintertime, they're probably the same birds. <laughs> Expanded right there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this one's got a two cloaco, okay. which means he is probably by this. If we caught him next week, it would be a three, and he'd be ready to breed. Real early breeders. This is a little junco, and sometimes the smaller birds get a bit more tangled than the larger birds, and you have to be very careful with their eyes and their necks. Yeah, very good. Uh, but we 
banding data we're learning that um, warblers, even warblers that travel all the way to Central America and back can live up to 10 years. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's I pretty know. amazing. Some life. of the ones I All right. Um, now I look for fat. Fat is um, not an indication of health so much. Um, birds put on fat to migrate. They use it as a source of fuel. Um, this bird has been here for the winter. Um, juncos winter around here. You probably have them in your backyard. Yeah. I've had I them in Canada. I have them in my backyard. I've seen them up there for Canyon. <laughs> yep. They haven't left yet, or at least most right. of them haven't left yet. Um, but they will in the next couple of weeks. Oh, and okay. they'll move back either up into the mountains or um, further north um, for their breeding territories. So they're not here in the summertime. So we came out this morning and set up the nets. Um, we set up three nets and we caught 24 birds, mm -hmm. lots of red winged blackbirds, but also a song sparrow, mm -hmm. three juncos, a couple of house finches, and a couple of Lincoln sparrows. That was our biggest surprise of the morning because um, we think they're a little early. I didn't think we would catch any birds that weren't resident. Residents, full year or winter residents here. But this is a migrating bird. He's on his way up into our mountains or he could be going further north. Um, and they, there's a lot of them passing through, but I'm a little surprised I think this is early. Yeah, I mean, that yeah, it's, so it's very it? hard to see when they're moving around, oh, but is. in the hand, it's very distinctive. And that yeah. white throat, yeah. and then that uh, tan band. So it was a very exciting morning. We had, um, it was a great time for some kids who came out, some who had never been to the banding station before. And we're looking forward to doing this again. That's great.